What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the Granite Geek Show. I'm your host Chris Grant Jr. Today we've got an interesting video. This is going to be an unboxing video. I've got a brand new audio interface. This is the M Audio Air 192.4. Um, I'll be using this one as a upgrade to the Focusrite. This is like the best selling audio interface in the world right now for several reasons. Uh, the main reason being these preamps are legendary. You cannot get preamps sounding much better than this. So a couple reasons for me upgrading this device. Number one, I wanted to make the jump to USB-C for the interface. I am done with traditional USB-A ports now using the new MacBook Pros and I just want everything to be USB-C. Um, number two, the knob that controls your main uh, out to your studio monitors is also what controls the output to your headphone jack. And so that gets very frustrating when you have to either unplug your headphones or turn off your speakers every time Oh, I just hit the mic. Every time you want to monitor just in one of those outputs. The third reason for the upgrade is Sydney from our sister channel, We Sibs. Uh, she's in need of an audio interface. And so this is a great one to start off with. This will really suit her needs as she doesn't have studio monitors. It's really just going to be a headphone type of situation. Um, and so I'm going to send this off to her. Maybe she'll do a little review. Uh, probably not. Before we get started, hit the subscribe button and click the bell so that you don't miss as I talk about tech and video games here on the Granite Geek Show. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is the M Audio Air 192.4. Uh, here you can see on the box you got your main volume knob, your dedicated <laughs> headphone jack. Uh, control. You've got your computer input to your direct monitoring. So this is for zero latency situations where you're recording um, vocals or instruments. And you've got your two inputs here also with um, some LEDs there to show uh, signal. The front of the box here gives you a view of the front of the device. The side gives you some specs. The top gives you the back of the device, some more specs, and it comes with a couple plugins and stuff like that. I'm not really gonna use that, but it's good to have and not need. Seems you have to get into it from the bottom here. So let's just go in with our knife and that should release the product here. All righty, stop. All right, well, thanks for watching the video. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna go past that. Manuals and um, some safety information. Now you've got your, oh, the whole thing lifts out like here. We'll get to that in a second, but first. So what they include here is a USB-C to USB-C cable, uh, which will be great because I won't need to use any kind of adapters or anything. I can go straight from the interface into the computer. Um, and then also, we'll put that to the side. And then you also get a USB-C to USB-A just in case you, you've got one of those situations going on. So either way, you get two cables out of the whole deal. Uh, to release it from its styrofoam prison, I'm going to put my hand under it as we take the styrofoam out. Now quickly talking, another reason that I chose this specific interface was because of the crystal preamps, which are supposed to be super clear, clear as far as delivering exactly what your hardware is putting out. So my microphone, etc. cetera, um, I really want it to not be too colored. And while the Focusrite uh, preamps are legendary, they, they do a little bit of coloring to the sound. And so I just wanted something as transparent as possible. So here we have a good look at the device. It looks like there's maybe some plastic covering it. Uh, it doesn't seem like I'll be able to get that satisfying sound for you. There we go. This stuff is super sticky. So there you've got the glossy black look and all of the buttons and knobs as I described on the box earlier. Here on the back, you've got your two outs for your monitors as well as a mic in. Um, you've got an instrument in. That'll be on the front right here um, and it will correspond to this knob. The knobs feel, let's see. Uh, they don't feel bad. Oh, the main, the main knob here feels really good. Yeah, that's cool. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels sturdy. It's got this gunmetal type of um, casing, and then it seems like a plastic on the top. Yeah, not glass, but metal on the side, so that helps it feel sturdy. Also, you've got your, if you were wondering, you've got your phantom power right here, and this is actually a switch, but definitely not a bad thing. And then finally, you've got your headphone jack, obviously, which is down here, and that's controlled uh, right here. Okay, so now let's get a quick size comparison. I will bring in the Focusrite Scarlett Solo first generation. Um, this is a massive device. Uh, it pretty much dwarfs the Focusrite here. Compared to the Focusrite, you can see that the inputs are on the front of the device, really for mobile scenarios. 
While the M-Audio has a very desktop oriented design with your um, controls on top, nice and big so you can see them instead of fidgeting down here, and your outputs and mic inputs on the back, um, assuming that you'll be taking cords and going behind your desk for your microphone or for your monitors. Okay guys, so that's been a quick look at the M-Audio Air 192.4. This has been my first unboxing, so let me know what you think if you'd like to see more, maybe even a comparison in sound between the two of these. Uh, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like on the video if you like the video, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss. I'll probably be doing a video very soon with Jay comparing the new Xbox One X and the PS5. We might even have uh, Zach join in on that video, so leave a thumbs up if you're excited for that. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.